myself Parshita from grade 3 of MPS and Kalyan CBSC school. Today I am going to tell you this story on the occasion of Ashadi Ekadash. In a village there lived a saint. He always used to go to the temple of Lord Vittal and offer food in a plate to Lord Vittal. Whenever he used to return, he used to distribute all the food to the food in the food items. And whenever he used to come home, the plate used to be empty. And one day he was ill. That's why he said to his son named Namdev. He said that I am ill so I will not be able to go to the temple. So for today, please go to the temple and offer food to Lord Vithala. Little Namdev went to the temple with the plate full of food. Then he waited for a long time. But Vithala didn't appear and eat the food. He was then crying a lot. He was going to bang his forehead on the feet of Lord Vitala and die. But at that time, Vitala appeared and ate that food. When the little Namdev came home, he said to everyone that, You know that Vitala ate the food I gave him. Vitala ate the food I gave him. But everyone said, no, it is not possible. How can an idol eat food? Then he took everyone to the temple of Vittal. And he said that you have to appear in front of everyone and eat this food. If you will not, I will bang my head on your feet and die. So then the Vittal appeared and ate the food. Everyone saw this. They were surprised to see this. Then one day Sant Kabir, Saint Kabir announced that whoever has seen God come to me to test them. So Namdev also came to know about this. Now they also went there. When Sant Kabir asked a question to Namdev, that question was, How does the God look like? And who is the God? Then little Namdev said, He has beautiful feet, holy feet, beautiful hand, beautiful cloth. And such a cute, beautiful face. So loving smile on his face. Such a uh, lovely look he has. Then this way he was saying. Then Sant Kabir said, Go away, you don't even know who is God. So he was very disappointed. He went to Lord Vitala and said why why did Sant Kabir say that I don't know anything about you and he said that now if you don't give me my answer I will bang my head on your feet then Vitala had to appear so Vitala appeared and said you don't know what is exactly God you just have to go to the temple in Pandarpur and there you will come to know about the truth. Then he said no why should I go to Pandarpur? Why can't you tell me? Then uh, Lord Vittala requested that please go there you will come to know about everything. Then Saint Namdev went there. There he saw an saint, a priest sitting there and there he came to know about who is God. God is one and in everyone. God is everywhere, not the body.
body. God is formless and one. He went to Vitala's temple and uh, said sorry that I'm sorry I didn't know the, what is the truth. Please forgive me and bless me. Then Lord Vitala blessed that child Namdev. When he grew up, he was known as Sant Namdev, Saint Namdev. So let us know some points of this story. So, magical card, open yourself and let us explore this question that who is that saint? Okay, so we have got the answer. The name of that saint is Saint Namdev. Saint Namdev. And open yourself and let us explore this question. Okay. So he always used to go to Lord Vittal's temple and offer food. Lord Vittal's temple. And let us explore this question by opening this magical card. Okay. Saint Kabir. Saint Kabir had announced that whoever has seen God, come to me. Then, open yourself and let us explore this question. Okay. So, the moral of this story is God is one and formless. God is one and formless. So, this was the story of Ashadi Ekadashi where we all worship Lord Vittal. And you can call Vittal from any name. You can call Vittal as Allah, Jesus, Ram, Krishna, Narsimha and etc. And the message given by all the saints is God is one. God is in each one of us. And God is formless. Love everyone and spread 